everyone, my name is Joana Proenz and today we're going to talk about Don't Panic of CS50 Introduction to Database with SQL. So this exercise is about week three where we are learning how to write in our database when we need to insert some data inside, when we need to update the content that already exists and so on. And this will be exactly what we're going to do. We're going to solve, we're going to fix the password of a user that was hacked and then we're going to update the content and change some data because of this change we're doing okay but before we start we need to download the distribution code so you can follow these steps in here the wget so you can put in here and it will create the folder for you then we need to unzip don't panic dot zip and it will unzip for us then we need to remove don't panic dot zip and you can say yes and finally we're gonna do cd don't panic so we can get inside of the terminal all right if we expand here the folder we're gonna see this don't panic dot db and if you click in open anyway you can see the database the content using the php light uh we're gonna have a hack dot sql so this is where we're gonna write our commands to change the password and change the content in our database and if we make a mistake you can use the reset.sql to reset the table the way that it was before all right so if we make any mistake you can reset and we don't need to panic let's just start the terminal by saying sqlite don't panic.db oops let me do contrast here that i wrote i made a mistake and then if i do here dot schema we will see our content all right so we have some tables we have the users user log we have items orders and we have some triggers for the functions uh the teacher explains about the trigger in the lecture but here we don't need to worry about all right these triggers we won't work with that only in the next problem set so i won't focus in this concept right now so let's understand what we have to do okay so in our hack.sql we're gonna write a sql statement to achieve the following we're going to alter the password of the website administrative account admin to instead be oops. We're going to erase any logs of your activity recorded by the database. And we're going to add a false data to throw others off your trail. In particular, make it only appears as if the admin account has had its password changed to Emily's 33's password. Indeed, this update should appear to be the only trace left behind. So we're going to change the password of the admin. We're going to erase the, the activity in our database and we're going to create a false data so anyone can track our change. All right. So to start, let's get the information about the password we have in our database. So if I do select the star from users where username is equal to admin because we want to change this information here, we got this uh, query id1 username admin and we have this password we hear that we don't know exactly what it is in the real life we usually don't store the password itself in our table because anyone can hack as we already noticed in order to do that we use the idea of hashing the password so instead of a story one two three four as password we're gonna store a lot of letters and numbers in this uh an undefined order as we're seeing here so this way we make the life uh much harder for people that are trying to hack us okay and this is exactly what we have to do we won't store in our database the word oops we're gonna convert this word oops into a hash form all right so i'm gonna copy this oops exclamation here they gave us the link to use to generate this hash uh password and i'm gonna put in here so let's suppose i want to hash the word oops if i click here in generate it will convert the string oops in this hash that we are seeing here so we should convert our password in this encrypted way all right and this is the password we're gonna update so i'm gonna copy here how do we update so we're gonna use the word update the name of the table we're gonna set the name of the column equals to the value we want to set so in our case is the password will be this password we just generated and the condition will be where the username is admin if we don't give any uh condition it will change the password for all of the users and this is not what we want okay so let's start writing here so update update and the name of our table is user set the column password equals to this string we just got from the hashed version of the word oops okay and our condition so where username is equals to admin all right so if i run the sql query we're gonna see and if i run the select sql query again let me show in here we will see that now the 
passwords change. Do you see? Before it was starting with the letter E, now it is starting with the number 9. So we updated the password only for admin. Alright, so this is the first step we need to do. Now we need to re-raise any logs from your activity recorded by the database. So we can record any activity we have about the username admin in our database. And to do that, we're going to use the delete statement. The delete statement works like this. We're going to say the word delete from and the name of our table and we're going to give a condition in our case where the username is admin. So let's see a little bit more about, let me clear here, about the user logs table. So I'm going to write here, select star from user logs. Let's see what we have. So we have a lot of data about the logs of every new user. Okay. And it's starting here, this update we just did, but we don't want to start this update. Okay. So let's change a little bit here what we need uh, to improve our query. So old username equals to admin. I want to show you exactly what we're seeing. Oops, I forgot the word where. I made a mistake again. It's missing a space. And if I run this way, we have the logs saying that we update the admin username to the old password to a new one. And we want to erase this line here in our user logs table. So to do that, we're going to use this statement, delete from user logs where our old username is admin. All right. So delete from 